Four days and counting until the solar eclipse, the first total eclipse to across New York State since 1925. Now, you've likely heard the warnings that looking directly at it could damage your eyes. Well, a high school student in Rockland County says he's got a solution, and he is now teaching his own class, start, uh, sharing, rather, what he knows. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo has his story. They always tell you to think outside the box, but George wants you to think in it when watching the solar eclipse. So with this, it makes it you can look at it for like the entire time and never have to look away. Who knew to see something so great, all you'd have to do is stare at the bottom of a cereal box. The homemade eclipse viewer has NASA's stamp of approval, but the fairly simple DIY crafts project takes a matter of minutes and is being taught by a 15-year-old Rockland County high school student. All you need are some scissors, aluminum foil, tape, white construction paper, and a tiny screwdriver to punch a hole. Show me now how, how would I actually hold this up properly well, to my face. You would want the eclipse behind you. And then by looking through the open side of the box, you can see the reflection of the eclipse in the white paper at the base of it. George's inspiration. These events that happen like only like a couple of times a year, like your life, to like actually like try to experience them as best as possible. And to do so safely is of utmost importance. Looking directly at an eclipse can badly damage your eyes, unless you're wearing proper solar glasses. But this option gives you an indirect, wondrous view. Looking at it like with the glasses is pretty cool, but it's like dimmed. But you can see the whole thing with the, with the box. And it was just a different experience. One that George first experienced at nine years old with his mom. In that moment, I felt um, the awe of it and the beauty of it um, and, and then the simplicity of it as well. Her son has now grown in his age and resourcefulness. You think you might be you know, a science teacher maybe or something in your future? Maybe. Who knows? Time will tell. For now, he's happy sharing his box of tricks with others as part of his youth group leadership project. I'm going to carry it with me everywhere I go on Monday. <laughs> staying grounded in the beauty of the universe. The world has a lot of beautiful things and like you should try to define them and like cherish them if you can if you see them. In Stony Point, Rockland County, Anthony Carlo Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Way to go, George. And we invite you to join us Monday. Our special coverage begins on Eyewitness News at noon. That will be followed by GMA3 at 1 p.m. And then at 2 p.m., ABC News and Nat Geo team up to bring you live reports from across the path of totality.